library. It's a place where I love to be. Look in a book, here's a story for you. Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers. Stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Milton Wordsworth. Working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous, stories are fun. Come and be a story maker. Story makers. Hello. Has everybody gone? Welcome, one and all. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. I felt it was time to make up a rhyme like the children were learning today. This poem's all mine. I hope it is fine. If not, I hope you will say. <laughs> Bravo! Well done! Mm, it sounded very hard, Jackson. How did you do it? Well, I, I matched up all the words that end the same way, like rhyme and time and today and say. Oh! Milton, you're good at doing that too, aren't you? Well, yes, it's poetry. Oh. And you know how I love poetry. Mm. <laughs> but it can be hard, especially if you can't think of anything that rhymes. Mm. What rhymes with jelly? Uh, smelly! <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't we make a story about rhyming? Ooh, Ooh, yes. That's Ooh. a good idea, I fear. <laughs> <laughs> well done, son. <laughs> Very funny, bunny. <laughs> Come on. Well, now, let's see. Here are some children's names for a rhyming story. Ooh. Now for some imagination. Mm. Ready to get the machine going? Imagine, 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 imagine a story. Great, it's a playbook. And it's called Ellie's Jellies. Ellie, put your jellies on. Ellie, put your jellies on. Ellie, put your jellies on. It's a sunny day. Melly, put your wellies on. Melly, put your wellies on. Melly, put your wellies on and come outside to play. Kimmy, put your swimmies on. Kimmy, put your swimmies on. Kimmy, put your swimmies on and party in the pool. Matty, put your hatty on. Matty, put your hatty on. Matty, put your hatty on. You're looking very cool. Ginny, put your penny on. Ginny, put your penny on. Ginny, put your penny on. We're making buns for mum. Tilly, put your frilly on. Tilly, put your frilly on. Tilly, put your frilly on. It's time for party fun. Pippa, put your slippers on. Pippa, put your slippers on. Pippa, put your slippers on your left foot and your right. Sammy, put your jammies on. Sammy, put your jammies on. Sammy, put your jammies on. It's time for bed. Night, night. Oh, that was fun! Oh, 
the children's names rhyme with their clothes. Hmm. I've been looking at more words that rhyme. Shoe, two, blue. <laughs> Judge Jackson, what? should we make a story with one of these things? Oh, yes, but mm. uh, which one? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, I'll use the shoe. Okay, why? Because you can't decide, Jelly. Oh, hmm. <laughs> For story number two, we can use this shoe. That's a good rhyme. <laughs> Are you ready to say the magic words? Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. Oh, yes, it's a barnacle rock story called Smelly Old Boot. Once upon a tide at Barnacle Rock, something stinky turned up. Rise and shine, barnacles under the sea. What's so smelly and pony? Yes, yes! Chimed the barnacles. Somebody's making stinky whiffs! <sighs> Harry, the seahorse, floated out of the seaweed. Phew, wee, what a pong! Electra sparked by in a panic. Sea monster alert! Everyone hide! The sea creatures hid, but there was no sign of a sea monster. Are you sure you saw a sea monster? Ellie whispered. Well, I've never seen anything like it before. It's huge and black and shiny with long tentacles. And when it gets close, it lets off a terrible pong. Everyone took a peek. Lying on the seabed was the ghastly looking creature. Oh, isn't it horrid? Ellie gasped. And doesn't it pong? Winced Electra. Gruff, the pufferfish swam out from behind his slimy stone. What's that lovely smell? He asked. Careful, Gruff, it's a sea monster. No, it isn't a sea monster, grumbled Gruff. I think it's rather lovely. But whatever can it be? Hissed Electra. Perhaps we should ask Papa Clam. Did somebody call? Papa Clam appeared from under the sand. No! Oh, what's that awful smell? It's a stinky sea monster, shouted the sea creatures. No, it isn't, said Gruff sulkily. Popper Clam took a closer look. Mm -hmm. It's not a sea monster. That there creature is an old boot. <laughs> the, the people up top put boots on their feet so it won't hurt if they step on something sharp. But why does it smell? hissed Electra. Old boots get very stinky. This one could make Barnacle Rock smell for weeks. Oh, no! Sighed Popper Clam. All the sea creatures looked glum, except for Gruff, who looked quite pleased. But how can we get rid of it? Ellie groaned. It's so big. Suddenly, Electra screamed. Oh, watch out! Watch out! There's a hook about! A fishing hook had appeared. The creatures swam about wildly. Don't panic! shouted Ellie. I've had an idea! Ellie floated up to the hook and nudged it into the boot. They all watched in amazement as the boot was hauled out of the water. Gruff almost shed a tear. Well done, Ellie! boomed Popper Clam. <laughs> it smells better already! <laughs> Well, that's the end of our whiffy adventure for today, Ellie giggled. <laughs> <laughs> we've got one story left, and we've got a blue and a moo and a two. Uh, oh, I know. What? Well, if we put the blue and the moo in the machine, we might get a blue cow story, and then we can put in the number two just for fun. Bravo. The blue... Um, the moo and the number two. And the final ingredient is your imaginations. Imagine, imagine, imagine a story. It's a blue cow story, and it's called Blue Cow the Bridesmaid. 
In a field not far away is a herd of cows grazing quietly. One of the cows is most unusual. Blue cow wonders, wonders about the big world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow could hear some bells ringing, as though they were ringing high up in the sky. I wonder where that magical chiming's coming from. She's off again, said the other cows. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. I'd like a ticket to where there are bells playing, please. Thank you, Cow, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for a church. And then they arrived. The beautiful ringing sound was coming from the tower of a church. In front of the church there were some people that looked like fairies in pretty dresses, and there were men in tall hats. In the corner was one fairy that was crying. She had the fluffiest, frilliest, whitest dress Blue Cow had ever seen. She walked up to the beautiful lady. Why are you crying? It's my wedding and I've fallen over and hurt my knee and I can't walk down the aisle in the church and everybody's waiting for me. <laughs> oh, please don't cry. Blue Cow couldn't bear to see such a pretty face looking so unhappy. If you want me to, I can carry you on my back down the aisle, Blue Cow said. The bride smiled a big, big smile. Her whole face lit up. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh you could be my chief bridesmaid. The other fairies, who were really bridesmaids, decorated Blue Cow all over with flowers. They were all colours and sizes and they smelt lovely. Blue Cow felt like a fairy cow. The music in the church started playing and Blue Cow carried the bride on her back. The bride's dress was flowing and Blue Cow carried a bouquet of flowers in her mouth. Everyone in the congregation clapped and cheered, for no one had ever seen such a fine wedding procession. After the wedding, the bride threw her bouquet high, high into the air. Everyone hurried around with their arms flapping in the sky. As the flowers came down, Blue Cow leapt up and caught them. You're a lucky cow, said a lady in a fetching yellow outfit. You'll be getting married soon. I think I need to go home first, Blue Cow said, worrying that one of the men in tall hats would have to come and live in her field with her. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to a wedding and I was a bridesmaid. Everyone knows cows can't be bridesmaids. But we know they can, don't we? Oh, I think you should know that it's time to go. <laughs> Shelley is right. It's no longer night. In fact, I would say it's getting light. <laughs> <laughs> the dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories and we bid you goodbye. Bye. Night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Stories oh, for Bye, story makers. Ooh. See you again soon.